Although their blend of emo pop and slick, and themic rock and roll eventually made them stars on both sides of the Atlantic, Paramore began humbly enough in Franklin, Tennessee, where Haley Williams met brothers Josh and Zach Faro after moving to town from Mississippi. Already a powerhouse vocalist at the age of 13, Williams joined a band that the Faro siblings had formed with local guitarist Taylor York. She left the group soon after, signing with Atlantic Records as a solo artist instead, but clashed with the label over the direction of her music. Seeking to front her own band, Williams convinced Atlantic to let her piece together a full lineup. Josh and Zach Faro were recruited for the job, as were guitarist Jason Bynum and bassist Jeremy Davis. From the start, Paramore's poppy melodies and zippy songwriting seemed to contradict the fact that none of the bandmates were older than 18. To help attract a younger audience, Atlantic decided to share the band with Fueled by Ramen, a Florida-based label with a strong roster of emo pop acts. Fueled by Ramen officially co-signed the group in April 2005, and Paramore's full-length debut All We Know Is Falling was released later that summer. In addition to a performance at New Jersey's Bamboozle Festival and multiple dates on the Warp Tour circuit, Paramore played shows with such simpatico bands as Simple Plan and Straylight Run. Hunter Lamb replaced Bynum on guitar in December 2005, and the band spent the following summer on the Warp Tour once again, cementing its relationship with the fans who had caught the previous summer shows. Lamb parted ways with the group in early 2007 to get married, and Paramore continued onward as a quartet. The following summer saw the release of the band's sophomore album Riot, which was recorded alongside producer David Bendit. Buoyed by the popular singles Misery Business, Crush Crush Crush, and That's What You Get, Riot turned Paramore into industry heavyweights, going platinum within its first 13 months of release and earning the band a Grammy nomination for Best New Artist. With original guitarist Taylor York now back on board, Paramore toured exhaustively in support of the record, even landing a two-month jaunt across the continental US with their idols Jimmy Eat World. Meanwhile, the band found time to contribute two songs to the best-selling Twilight soundtrack, including the top 40 single Decode. A live album entitled The Final Riot was released several weeks after the Twilight soundtrack, capturing the group's strength as a live act and concluding the long touring cycle in support of Riot. Paramore publicly struggled with fame throughout 2008. Of particular note was the attention lavished upon Williams, whom many media outlets deemed to be the leader of the group. Rumors of a breakup began to circulate, yet Paramore's lineup remained intact, and the band retreated to a California studio in 2009 to work on a third album. Following a popular summer tour with No Doubt, the group issued Brand New Eyes, a pensive record that featured some of Paramore's strongest songwriting to date. The album debuted at number two with sales of 175,000 copies, besting Mariah Carey's memoirs of an imperfect angel. Brand New Eyes went gold by the end of the year and the only exception became the band's highest charting single to date in America. Meanwhile, Williams scored her own chart topper with Airplanes, a multi-platinum collaboration with hip-hop artist Bob. Long simmering tensions between Williams and the Faro brothers had reached a boiling point by late 2010, though resulting in a messy split between Josh and Zach Faro, considered by many to be the band's co-founders and the three remaining members. Days after his exit, Josh Farrow wrote a blog post detailing the band's history, including previously unknown details regarding Atlantic's early involvement and Williams' solo contract. In 2011, Paramore released the single Monster, which was included on the Transformers Dark of the Moon soundtrack. This was the first song recorded without the Faro brothers and first to feature York taking over all guitar duties. The following year, Paramore began work on new material with producer Justin Meldal Johnson and former Lost Profits drummer Elon Rubin. In 2013, Paramore returned with their fourth studio album the eponymously titled Paramore. Heralded by the hit singles Still Into You and Ain't It Fun, 
The album featured an expansive stylistic approach that found the group incorporating a variety of sounds including synth pop, dance rock and gospel. A major breakthrough for the band. It debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 and ultimately achieved platinum status. Following the band's tour in 2015, Paramore announced they had parted ways with bassist Davis. It was soon revealed that they were engaged in a legal dispute with him over songwriting credits and royalties. Despite the lawsuit, Williams and York began work on a follow-up to their self-titled album, once again collaborating with Meldal Johnson. Also during this period, they reconnected with original drummer Zach Farrow who came on board initially as a studio guest and later rejoined as a full-time member. In 2017, the solidified trio released the single Hard Times as the lead-off track from their fifth studio album After Laughter. It featured an even more genre-open, 80s synth-pop-inspired approach to songwriting, marked by Williams' hard-won lyrical maturity. Buoyed by more singles, including Told You So, Fake Happy, and Rose-Colored Boy, the record also performed well, peaking at number 6 on the Billboard 200 and topping both the alternative and rock charts. Following an extensive two-year tour, Paramore went on hiatus in 2019. Williams used the time off to begin work on a solo project, writing songs with York and Paramore's touring bassist Joey Howard. In January 2020, she debuted the track Simmer and Leave It Alone, which featured a darker, more artistically-minded tone than previous Paramore songs. The album debuted at number 18 on the Billboard 200. Nine months later, in February 2021 she released her second full-length solo album, Flowers for Vases Disconzos. Produced by Canon Blues' Daniel James, the album found Williams playing all of the instruments herself. Paramore eventually came off hiatus and Williams, York, and Faro returned to the studio. In September 2021, they released This Is Why as the first single and title track off the group's sixth studio album. Produced by Carlos de la Garza, This Is Why found the group returning to a more guitar-oriented post-punk sound. 